as you can see right there, sliding it is no problem, very predictable, and heavily encouraged. Hello everybody, Matt Farah, editor at Large Road and Track 2024 Performance Car of the Year from Thunder Hill West. This is the all new Nismo Z. This is a very exciting car and they have done a hell of a job with it as I will demonstrate here. 420 horsepower, 384 pound feet of torque, 3,704 pounds and a short little wheelbase. It is automatic only, which is a bummer to some people, but the automatic is, in my opinion, pretty good. Nine speed, very responsive with the paddles, both on the upshift and the downshifts. They have improved shift times by 27% on the way up and by 50% on the way down. Wheels are lightweight forged rays and the tires are Dunlop SP Sport Max race shared with the Nismo GTR and as you can see right there sliding it is no problem very predictable and heavily encouraged it's got bigger brakes than the regular car these Akebono units four pistons in the front not automatically upshift, it stays on the line. The steering is razor sharp and the turn-in is excellent, no understeer happening here. They have increased the chassis rigidity, it's got larger shock tubes, higher spring rates, they've done all the bushings. So everything is more communicative, tighter, more hunkered down on the wheels. The kind of stuff that tuners try to do and only get there maybe half the time. It's responsive, it's fun, it's fast, and I think they might be sandbagging the power number a little bit because it feels like more than 420 to me. Just, just a little bit lovely. Great front to rear balance. Just enough compliance to transfer the weight really, really nicely. And it's got enough torque that you can actually leave it in third out of that hairpin. No problem. It's fun to play. You can balance understeer and oversteer just brilliantly. Kind of send it in on the entry, balance it at the mid corner, and then step the back out on the exit if you want. But I'll admit that when I first went to go drive this car, I was pretty indifferent about it. But now having spent some time with it, it's a phenomenal achievement by Nissan's team. It's massively fun on the circuit. It is quick. And even without the stick, I think it's a fantastic car. Don't get me wrong, I would love to see a stick version of this. I think it would be great. But even without it, just judging what's in front of us here, it's really, really nice. And look, just a little bit balancing that throttle gives you a beautifully predictable slide. And again, that was second, but look, third gear, no problem third gear either. I'll leave it in third right here and see, plenty of torque in third. Fantastic. The di 
stiff working overtime, but quite happy. <laughs> this is only supposed to be a three lap review, but I don't want to stop, but I'm gonna. I think this car is an overachiever. People who haven't driven it probably don't think there's much to it. Jethro got out of it with a big smile on his face. I'm gonna get out of it with a big smile on my face. Uh, the inputs are very nice. The balance is very nice. And although people might see a $66,000 Z as a ton of money, you know, we've got the M2 and the Dark Horse here, which are two direct competitors. And honestly, I think they're, they're both more. <laughs> the sliding is addictive. It is. How do you not want to just do one? <laughs> Fantastic stuff. I think this is a great car. I think it, I'm so happy it's here for P. Cody. Uh, I'm glad that I wasn't delusional when I drove it on the launch, and I, I think the rest of the staff will agree with me. Tons of fun, very engaging, the right size, the right power, the right inputs. What a great car. What a contender for P. Cody 2024. Stay tuned. A new video from me every week, and uh, we got lots more to come. Thanks for watching.